You don't. Do you? But I'm not assuming that I'm not earning any money at this point, and he's like, I'm also working and mm. providing like equal. Mm. Yeah, but men don't care about your money. It's like nothing to them. Yeah, but we're talking about my opinion on it, not their opinion. On it. No, no, but I'm saying you just said that you would be working too, and I'm saying yeah. to the guy like they wouldn't care. Okay. Do you not? Do you not care? I'm a little bit. Di- I mean, I've been quite fortunate to date girls that, have, that earn a decent amount of money, especially when I've been younger. Mm. It is nice, but it's not like a. Pro- it's not a. It's not a major deal. Mm. Do you know what okay. I mean? Like I could happily date a girl that works at McDonald's if she was a nice girl. Okay. Pretty. What do you guys think that men look for? So if you had to list like five things that men look for, what would you say? God, I've really been out of the game for a while, so I think mm. I'm not the right person to ask. <laughs> Yeah, but you're you're in it now. So what do you know, you, you right. gotta? I'm not really. I'm wanna, really not wanna, really. If you want to, if you want right to get this guy right, you got to know your target. I don't really care right now. Your mark or I'm whatever. Just, I'm just like it's looking too, after too my, soon. It's too soon. Mm-hmm. I'm working on me. But you like, didn't learn anything about like what your husband liked if you were married that long. Well, not me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't learn anything. How long were you married? Ten years. So you, you you were married to a guy for ten years. You didn't learn anything about men. <laughs> Clearly not, because he left. Mm. So um, mm. I don't know. I don't know how to answer that question. Okay. Uh, what do you think men want? I think they want a woman that gives them space to be them. Mm. Um, I also think they want someone that like supports them. I always believe. I think I come from quite a traditional um, background in terms of like family and like how things run. I'd say. Um, so I think a woman that allows him to be the head but still can be the neck that holds him through whatever it is that you both need to go through. Um, I think someone that's his peace, you know, someone that can bring some form of tranquility into his life when everything feels like it's all over the place or to just actually just, you know, just be at peace and not bring so much like problems or always moaning or plucking things out of thin air to make something happen from past trauma or whatever it is. Um, I think that's what men kind of look, and again, I'd say that looks or, some sometimes it could be body but I wouldn't say it is I think it, it depends on what stage they're at in their life if they're willing to just like mess around and just want bare things I feel like that's what they focus on but I think when they're ready to settle down it's just a woman that can ground them what do you think I feel like I wouldn't be able to say like just five things but like I feel like in my relationship I know that like my boyfriend tells me that for him it's important that I can give him space that he can grow into the person he needs to be. But as long as he knows that I'm going to be there to wait for him to get to that point, then he feels secure in that. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like men want somebody who's going to be there with them because for men, they want to be able to turn around and say, yeah, I went through A, B, C, D, but this woman stood by me the whole time. Mm. So that's why she gets to reap the benefits now. So loyalty. Yeah, Mm. loyalty is really important for men. Like Obviously, everybody wants to be with a loyal partner like men or women Mm. but for men it's really important like it's so so important that they can have somebody who grows with them because they want to build with their woman they don't want to like just make the money and then get a girl who's only come after the money you Mm -hmm. know what I mean they want somebody who's been there the whole time so that they feel like this person actually deserves now to reap the benefits of what I've made because they've Mm. been there the whole time anything else that you'd add other than loyalty um, the dog's loyal. I think. You know, so we can, how, <laughs> I think, what can the girl bring? I think how she carries herself as well. Like, if you're somebody who's, you know, you don't carry yourself well in public, you have a bit of a reputation for yourself, it's going to make the men look at you a bit sideways. Like, do I really want this person to be associated with me? So, like, purity? Yeah, purity okay. as well. Like, you want to come from a good place. You want to have good, like, morals and stuff like that. Mm. So, it's not, it's like if, you know, one day you end up having to meet their family and stuff. The family don't feel like they have anything to like pick at you about. Like you've got good morals, you come from a good place, you know, you've got yourself together and they can see that as well. Mm. Then that's what they're looking for. <coughs> okay. What about you? Um, definitely men want love, hundred percent. Um loyalty. Um, they want peace. They want you to be their peace. Mm. So how can you give it? Because I always hear women say that, like, I want to be his peace, but I never hear any specifics. Um, It's in terms of, like, you know, leaves the house, but work stress, got stereotype stress. Mm. Um, And then you come home and then you're probably moaning about something that he he didn't call you today. Like, 
I bring mm. peace to my partner. Mm -hmm. And I'm not just saying that, but I, I, I know that because when he come home and we're together, there's this where he can just relax his shoulders basically and not mm -hmm. have to be this tough or, or watch his back or kind of be like, there's a lot of men have to carry a lot basically. Mm -hmm. So the fact that you can be a shoulder to lean on, listen to them, support them. Um, it's almost kind of like therapy, but not in that sort of you way. You think men want their women to be therapists? Not therapists, not <laughs> in that way, but men want to have somebody that they can open up to mm -hmm. as much as they feel like they want to be tough. They want to be, they want to have their person and mm -hmm. that and their partner is that person where not judged, not feeling like they need to be something that they have to be on the road in the house, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, and men want love. They want genuine, wholehearted love um, because, you know, it's that sort of thing. You can tell when a guy's in a good relationship how they act and when they're in a bad relationship, it affects their whole world around them as much as they might be tough or not. So that kind of deep, genuine love is one of the things that they're looking for. Cause when guys are in the young age and they're sleeping around, they're not looking for those. Um, um, they're looking for family orientated, um, a strong woman, somebody like all those things that they're looking for when they want to settle down. Mm -hmm. Actually, I have one question. Do you think women like men that are opening up to them emotionally? Um, I think so, yeah. Funny yeah. enough, um, I know someone who she appreciates that mm -hmm. um, because you get to know the real person when they open up um, in terms of partner. Because there's a lot of things that shape a man, you know, like mm -hmm. family history, um, what they went through, childhood, adulthood, like there's a lot of things that shape them. So when they open up to a woman, that's how they get the full picture of a man. For example, my mom always said when I started dating, a man can only act for so long. Mm -hmm. So he might approach her with this tough exterior and then, or he's chasing mm -hmm. after something and then he can't act for that long. And then you kind of realize who that real person is. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they appreciate when men open up. I don't think so. I was gonna. Explain. No, I, I don't. So. No, I don't. Mm. There's studies that show that like women like their husbands less when they open up or cry to them. And mm. I hear guys tell me all the time that like they'll open up to like this is women. What we kind of do is we kind of like we don't realize we're doing it, but we start to psychoanalyze men and it pisses them off. Mm. So like they'll say, "Oh, I, this happened in my childhood or whatever." They'll open up to us, and then we'll be like, every time we're in an argument, well, it's because of his childhood. That, and it's like throwing it in their face. Mm -hmm. That's women leading from a different mm -hmm. angle. There's this thing about listen to understand mm -hmm. rather than listen to respond. Mm -hmm. And people who, that's that's basically throwing something back in someone's face. Mm -hmm. So there's women like that because they're not. I think it's common though. It is. I don't even Absolutely. think it, I don't even think it always comes out of a, like a place of maliciousness. Mm -hmm. I actually, I think so. so. No. Well, I mean, for some mm -hmm. women. Yeah. But I've heard girls do it and I, it's more of like them explaining like why he's doing it. But guys don't want to hear that. Oh, they're trying to correct him basically. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But I, I genuinely think that telling men to like open up to women is bad advice overall. I don't think like you're telling them to open, but like, I think they should open up to other men. Do you think so? I agree. Because I don't, I don't want, I, I look at a guy, I want him to be my rock. Yeah. I don't, I don't want a guy that's more emotional than me. But when he crumbles, all of a sudden, it's like, who's this person? How do I deal with it? Because I've never seen this side or I, I never saw it coming. And it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now he's really soft. And who is this? I'm, I'm not saying leave him the second you see any emotion. But I think by and large, like, the more he does it, the more likely you will leave. Because yeah. you don't, like, do women want weak men or do they want strong men? It doesn't make you weak to open up, I don't think. And I think there's a time and place. And I think, I think, as you said, it depends on what the woman's there for. Mm. I think that also plays a part because sometimes, you know, when you're in a girl chat or mm. it, I feel like sometimes it does stem from, I wouldn't say actually it stems from any age range of women or anything. I think it's off a perspective and how, like you said, you want your man to be, but nine times out of ten I do feel like if a man opens up or he gets emotional I feel like if you've not been together for a very long period of time or it's quite mm. new women tend to go yeah but I don't actually know why he opened up to me like why is he acting bare soft or like it's just a bit like what do I do do you know what I mean a lot of women do get turned off by that kind of stuff yeah of course yeah that's I've why it, it is always better to open up with your boys yeah 
But um, sometimes your boys just can't support you like that. Yeah, man. not always. Or even reach mm. out to a coach or a mentor, mm. an expert in that field. Mm. I'm not even just saying that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's, that's actually the reason why I got into it. But like, um, yeah, unfortunately, let's admit that your words do get used against you in an argument. Mm. And women do sometimes tend to go to that, that, that cause when they want to get a reaction out of you. Yeah. They want to see some emotion. They will go to that soft place. Mm. So I always tell men just, yeah, not not to open up in front of your girl. And I think it goes back to like all them like old time sayings, you know, like you treat them ke- a mean, keep them keen. So it's mm. like, that's what women like kind of sometimes that chase and that play with men. I feel like they don't always like what they want. Mm. Sometimes they like to be put in their place. They like a man to be able to know he can do that. As many of you know, I was just banned on TikTok and we are demonetized on a daily basis on this platform. If you want to help, please consider sending a super thanks below. Every donation helps and it helps make what we do possible.